Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sips Techie Tips. And today we're going to be looking at hooking up my Yamaha PSR E313. And this is a, a much older kind of keyboard. It's a, it is a MIDI actually. And, um, but it's not like new MIDIs that hook up with just a simple USB cord. You can, you can, these were made with a um, DIN connector cables. You had one for the in and one for the out. You had two cables. And that's what this adapter does. It has two. And uh, they're very inexpensive. They sell for about, uh, oh, probably around $10, $15. You can get uh, more expensive ones, but they're basically all the same. And, uh, yeah. But before we do that, I want to thank everybody who's been watching the videos. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the comments and uh, subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe. And if you want to be notified of each new video, remember to click on the bell. So, let's get started. And it's a very nice keyboard. It's got some fancy features. You can split the keyboard into two halves and two people can play at the same time. Different uh, music, of course. It's got some controls. It has many different uh, voices, many different rhythms and all. But what we're going to look at is hooking it up to a computer. This keyboard does not have a USB connection. This is what I will use to hook up my keyboard to my computer. And it's just a little module here. I've got some notes, very important notes. And it has a USB end and that looks like this, where it plugs into the uh, USB connector on the back of the computer. And then it has the DIN connector ends. And these have five pins, a round band, and then it has a key, so it can only go in there one way. It makes it easier to connect and disconnect. And one is marked uh, out. And the other one is marked in. And the way you hook it up is in goes to out on the back of the keyboard. And out goes to in on the back of the keyboard. Otherwise, it doesn't work. It has some indicators here. This tells you that in is being used. This one tells you that uh, out is being used. And this tells you that you have a good connection to your USB and you are getting power. And this is the out connector from my unit and it goes to the in. It does have a little guide to help you line it up. Line it up. Push it in. Then this is the um, in connector and it goes to the out. Then that other uh, connector here is for the sustain pedal. This is an earphone jack. And then this is the power connector. It has to have a separate power supply on this particular keyboard. And that's all there is to connecting it. On the screen is Ableton Live. 11 light and this is what I use for uh, working with my midis now my uh, keyboard is plugged in turned on connected and that is coming through the speakers in the Yamaha now I'm gonna turn those way down to off and we're gonna look at the screen and this one here, the first one, actually all of them, if you look right in here, you will see that it is getting input. If you look up here in this corner, you'll see a little blinking uh, square there. And that means it is receiving input. But Ableton is not set up yet. It doesn't have any instruments, doesn't know what to do quite yet. So this one says all instruments. I'm going to drop that list 
by clicking on that down arrow. And it says I can get input from my computer keyboard from this USB 2.0 dash MIDI, or I can configure something else. Well, this is actually the little unit I showed you. So I'm going to click on it. And he says, for this channel, get input from that specific place. And you'll notice that when I, anytime I click on, on anything, I am still getting input. Now where it says all channels, I'm going to drop that list. And, and if I hit a key, you will see that it is coming in on channel 1. Channel 1 is where it's getting the input. And I'm okay with that, so I'm going to be specific. So, and by specific, I mean it says this is listen, this MIDI channel is listening to the USB, to MIDI interface, and listening to channel one. Now, I need an instrument, okay? And so, this is my, this is my instruments, and I'm going to go to my instrument rack, and I'm going to go down here to brass. I'm going to look for a brass instrument. And I'm going to use this one. This is Sips Brass Organ. So I took a, uh, a, a um, brass instrument and, con and configured it to sound more like a real low, slow organ. All right. So this is the uh, configuration. And my speakers are on. And you can hear it. So it's taken input from the keyboard. And it's playing it back through the organ. And since my, my um, keyboard is touch sensitive, if I press softly, I get soft sounds. If I press hard and quick, they are much louder. So it's working just like any other MIDI. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, click on like. And if not, you can give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Also comments, you can leave me a comment. If you've had uh, this experience before, if you set up yours to play back uh, a different way, please leave me a comment, let me know what you did. And um, if you had any problems doing this, let me know. The little interface that I showed you in the video, I bought it on Amazon and I must have paid about 10 or $12. So they're very inexpensive, very reasonable. And that way, if you already have a keyboard like mine, a piano, then this is how you do it. So until next time, take care.